I've never heard a song say so much with no words being spoken. I ain't never heard nothing like this before. I ain't never heard a song where it's singing and there's no words. They were speaking without words. They were expressing themselves and we fully understood what was going on without them even saying anything. We're two minutes 42 in and no one's sung a word yet unless you count, yeah, I can't sing. Guys, I've never experienced anything like this before. I mean, they are singing, yeah. You're not singing with words, but I mean, this is just unbelievable. You know, sometimes you don't even need a bunch of lyrics, just that emotion behind her voice. It's amazing how much you can say without saying anything. And those vocals, like you don't even need any words. Yeah, they're saying so much more than that through the music. I recently listened to Pink Floyd for the first time, and you all practically screamed at me that I absolutely had to listen to The Great Gig in the Sky, so that's what I'm going to do. This is apparently one of the only Pink Floyd songs that features a female vocalist, which I think will be very interesting, and we're going to be checking out the Pulse recording version per your recommendations. Let's get to it. some Richard, man.
gobsmagt. They all had amazing voices, but I'm going to give it to the first lady. Her part when she was a bit more raspy in the vocals, that was insane. I've never heard a voice like that. We listened to a Pink Floyd song and there was not one bit of David Gilmour vocals. That almost seems like a crime. I almost lost it. The song didn't, didn't even have lyrics on it, but it still affected me. It was soothing and it was haunting at the same time. This song proves that you don't need lyrics to a song to be able to connect to the fans in an, in an emotional standpoint because I felt it. So many emotions being on display. This vocalist is like ah and o's and I cannot sing but you know what I mean. That's in, talent right there, I tell in, you what. Right. I feel like every single one of them got their moment just to like shine, you know. Flex to oh the max. Oh my gosh, that was so impressive. Wow. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That, that, that was a ex nice experience, right? They didn't say a word on this whole song. That 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 song put you in the, in the spot. This is such a moving song. I love the audacity in the choice of just doing it on a vowel. All of the singing happened on a vowel. We had some narration at the beginning that had words to set the scene, but otherwise it was just about emoting and honestly the emotions of death and maybe the struggle or acceptance of it. And uh, there could be a lot more emotions happening in there as well and different ideas for how it could be applied. Wow, uh, I feel like this was just a masterpiece. I can listen to that again, yo, golly. I, I guess I probably was hypnotized for a minute or something. I, I was lost. I, I'm lost for words right now. That was so unexpected. That was so surprising but a life-changing song i've never heard anything like that before there was so much that was said but nothing was said it was just raw emotion raw instrumentals i just oh my god pink floyd man like this band continues to just open up emotions or something inside me i've never had opened up before i'm honestly utterly confused but in the best way possible. The level of talent it takes to orchestrate a battle like that on stage. They're singing, but they're not saying anything. But with their, their tone and everything that's being emitted, they're saying things that words can't really in in capture, right? Another truly once in a lifetime experience you, you get you you fully drown within the music man i think he said like i think like a few lyrics in the very beginning i think he said something like he's not afraid of dying we all have to die sometime that kind of set the tone of how serious the experience you're about to get man no it's not like a lyrical masterpiece but holy cow, you could feel their soul. When they were singing, you could feel their passion and their emotion. You can't take a singer off the street, tell them to do what they just did, and expect it to come anywhere close. What band would even think about doing a song like this without speaking a word that you can like fully understand? But it comes out so amazing. That was just a masterpiece. And it was a pleasure to listen to. Just sitting here um, in awe. What the heck is going on? Absolutely impressed, mesmerized. All that stuff, shebang that I talked about before. I mean, that felt like um, something that was playing like in between songs, but a bit better quality than just a filler. You know what I mean? It was just absolutely incredible. The musical artistry of Pink Floyd is is crazy. This was definitely worth seeing live. This is impressive to me. Uh, the second singer, she definitely smashed it out of the park. The first singer did a great job too, but the second singer, she just brought in all that emotion. That was just another level, man. I've never, ever experienced anything like that in my life. 
beautiful, man. Beautiful. You know, another creative song as well. The Great Gig in the Sky. I, you know, I, like I said, I didn't know what to expect, but Jesus, man. <laughs> Speechless, man. Um, So much passion and so much said without saying words. Music like this is awesome because it speaks to us what we need kind of like to like hear and learn in the moment. That's why we probably come together today. Like music, it's, un it's amazing how it brings us together. Should I be afraid of dying? There's no reason for it. You've got to go sometime. 